Hello friends, in this tutorial, we would learn how to build an Arduino based car parking system with IR sensor. So let's get started. So we would require one Arduino Uno board as you can see in this video. One I2C module. Two IR sensor. One seven segment LCD display. Breadboard with minimum of 400 pin. One servo motor. Two 3.7 volt lithium battery. One battery holder. And few jumper wires. Now we will take IR sensor and take the red wire and we will put it on the first pin of the IR sensor. Now we will take a different color wire and put it on the second pin. Like you can take any, but in this video, we are taking black wire and the third wire which is an orange on the last pin of IR sensor. Similarly, we will take the another IR sensor and we will put the red color wire in the first pin. Now we will take the second wire and we will put it on the second pin which is a black color wire and the third one on the third pin as a yellow color there is no restriction on the color of wire which you can put you can put any color but just remember whichever you pick now we'll take the breadboard and seven segment lcd display and we'll put or we'll insert in the breadboard as you can see we'll take i2c module Similarly, we will insert on the same point how we will insert 7 segment LCD display. Once that is done, now we will make the connection. We will take the wire, red color, we will put it on the second point which says VCC and we'll take the black wire and we'll put it on the ground now we'll take the third wire and we'll put it on the third pin and similarly the fourth wire on the fourth pin now we'll take the Arduino Uno board and the IR sensor where we have made the connection now we need to make those connection to the Arduino board we'll take the yellow wire and we'll try to insert on the first point we'll take the another IR sensor and the orange wire of that we will try to insert on the Arduino board which is pointing on the 4 number Now we will take the red wire and we will insert on the second row from the bottom. We will take the another red wire and we will try to insert right next to the another red wire. So both the IR sensor red wire we will try to insert on the second row 
from the bottom. Now we'll take the black wire and we'll insert on the last two. Similarly, we'll take the another pencil black wire and try to insert on the last row of the breadboard. Now we'll take the blue wire from the I2C module and we'll insert in the Arduino board where it sees the SDA, the second point, second point from the bottom which says SDA. Now we'll take the green wire and we'll put it on the SCL, the first point. Now we'll take the black wire and we'll insert in the first row of the bread row where the other black wire are there. Similarly, we'll take the red wire and we'll insert on the second row where the other red wires are inserted. Once this is done, we'll take the servo motor and it has the three wire which is already connected. We can similarly take the three same wire with the same color and we'll try to insert in the servo motor. Out of the three wire, we'll take the red and the light brown wire and we'll insert the red wire on the second row and the brown wire on the first row respectively and the orange wire on the Arduino board where it says minus 3 so this is how we'll make the connection with the servo motor once the circuit is done we will take the black board and we will arrange the component as you can see in this video now let's insert the USB cable to upload the code. Download the code which is provided in this description and look at the folder. Once the folder is located, we'll click on the car parking system code. As, as soon as you double click on it, it will open up the Arduino IDE. Once you do that, on the line number 4, 5, 6, 7, there are libraries which are included. So we need to insert those library. So we'll click on the library manager icon and we'll type the wire.h. As soon as you type the wire.h, you will see the list of libraries which we can include. Ideally, it will ask for install, like you can see the install button and you can install it. But if it is already installed, it will show you remove it. So please install it if it is not installed. Then we would add the library which says liquid crystal. Minimize this IDE and then locate the library folder where it says Arduino Liquid Crystal Library. Open it back and we'll click on the sketch and we'll include the library by clicking on Add Zip Library. Once you do that, it says if the file is already installed, the library is already installed, then it will ask you to overwrite. So you can click yes or no. In our case, we will click no. So now we will point to this uh, sixth line which says 0x27. So we need to get this from the another code which is called LCD scanner. So we'll click that code, we'll get that serial port. So we will click on the select board and select other board and port. We'll click on the COM4 serial port USB and we'll search for you know board. Once you do that, we will upload the code. As soon as it is done, you will click on the serial, serial monitor on the top right corner. As soon as it is done, it will give you the address which is 0x27 so we don't need to change anything because our serial port is same on the code 
now similarly we'll select the board and the board to upload the code we we'll click on the upload button and this is how you will upload the code once the code is uploaded we will take the candy stick or a normal stick and we will try to stick it to the servo motor so it looks like a parking system now we will take the power connector and we will connect to the arduino board once you do that if the circuit is done properly then you will see the message saying arduino parking system and it says welcome slot left 4 now we will take the car and I will demonstrate how to use this parking system. Now we will take the white car and we will approach towards the first sensor of the IR sensor. As soon as we are close to that sensor, the gate will open and once you cross the second IR sensor, the gate will shut and the counter goes from 4 to 3. Similarly, when we take the green car and we approach the IR sensor first, the gate will open and when you cross the second IR sensor, the gate will close and the countdown goes to 2. Similarly, for the yellow car, it will, the, it will say now one slot left and once the red car goes in, the slot left now is 0. So now we take the another car and we approach towards the IR sensor and see it says parking full. So this is how you make the parking system. So based on your requirement you can tweak the slot and you can code it in the way you want. Now what we will do, we will try to remove the car from the parking slot and you will see the slot will be available again for the new car to enter. So red car approaches to the first sensor and the gate opens and after crossing the second sensor the gate will shut and see now it sees slot left one. Now the blue car can go in and it sees slot left zero. Similarly now the blue car goes out and it sees slot left one. Now for the yellow car, it says slot left 2 and the green car goes out and it says slot left 3 and the white car which will be the last one and again it says the slot left 4. So this is how we do this circuit and this is how we make the parking system. Try out, I'll see you in the next video.